And we welcome you back. Caught in the middle of a sideshow, an innocent driver now recovering after being hit head on by a man police say was participating in that sideshow. CBS 13's Renee Santos is live in Solano County with what's being done to try to stop these illegal events. Yeah, imagine just driving. Mind your own business when suddenly you're hit head on by a driver. It's what happened here over the weekend while police were trying to end an illegal sideshow that spanned multiple cities. They are disruptive, can turn violent, and are illegal. Sideshows continuing to keep officers busy. Just this past weekend, three people were sent to the hospital. Following a crash involving a man police say was taking part in sideshow activities. Officers with the Fairfield Police Department say 23 year old Christian Placencia was speeding when he slammed into a driver while making an unsafe pass on Vanden Road near One Lake Drive. His passenger extricated from inside his car after suffering major injuries. I have a lot of concerns. How, how are people going to stop that? I mean, I don't want to be on the road when that occurs. The dangerous and potentially deadly acts now forcing officers to get creative when it comes to catching people. Fairfield police say the use of drones have been successful in capturing video of sideshow drivers and spectators. Officers also keep an eye on big warehouse parking lots and hot spots that are attractive destinations for sideshows. Cars have also been impounded for 30 days. See, that's it's becoming a problem now. Sideshows have also been keeping CHP busy. The department responding to several incidents, including large fights and a wrong way driver. As for this weekend sideshow that led to a head on crash, sending an innocent driver to the hospital. Yvette Robb hopes the illegal activity doesn't get worse or she's ever caught in the middle. And I happen to see the residuals of it, and I'm like, that can only cause death. In my book, officers do monitor social media for sideshows, which oftentimes is their first, first heads up that that event will happen. As for the suspect and the driver that was hit, we're told that they both suffered only minor injuries. Hopefully, they realize how lucky they are looking at that damage. Thanks, Renee.